All right, testing of the subscapularis or shoulder internal rotator muscles, um, gonna be very similar in positioning. Uh, for external rotation, of course, other muscles that also complete this um, action are gonna be like the pec major, the lats, and the teres, uh, teres major. Also some of the anterior uh, fibers of the deltoid, um, but primarily we're really concerned with that subscapularis. This is a very strong muscle, a much, much uh, stronger than the external rotators. Um, so without further ado here, again, we're gonna stabilize or give some type of counter pressure at the elbow. Your shoulder's gonna be at 90 degrees here. You're gonna want them to go into medial or internal rotation. So I want you to do this motion. Again, always show them what you want them to do so they have a complete understanding of, uh, uh, of what you want. So go ahead and bring your arm into that position right there. Go ahead and do that for me now. Very good. Um, now, as you see, she started to do some wrist flexion there. She's just trying to substitute a little bit and, and you gotta you know, notice those things. So hold that. Again, you're gonna apply resistance at that wrist. Don't let me move you. Okay, five is she's going to um, not have any uh, yielding. Four is she may have like a spongy yield, a little bit of a break there. Um, three, you already saw, as you know, she has that full range of motion, okay? And of course, again, I like to have this here in case there is a sharp edge. Um, also, I just like to have that glenohumeral joint in a better position. So go ahead and uh, sit off this short sit for me with your feet off the table, all right? Again, similar as the external rotation, keep everything in neutral here. Start them out as, uh, at the end range of external rotation. I want you to bring this across. Now, you are not doing the motion for them. You are just supporting their arm and their, their, their wrist here. So go ahead and bring that, bring that across to your belly. Good. So that is gravity reduced. That's going to be a two. Um, another, uh, what you also need to do is, of course, palpate. Um, and so you have a few other uh, options to palpate. Um, it's going to be very difficult to palpate the uh, subscapularis because it's quite deep and can be very uncomfortable. Um, but you can, of course, palpate in that, um, in that pec, uh, pec region right in here. So what I want you to do is pull, pull across just like so, just like that. Yeah, okay. So that is going to be a grade one. And of course, a grade zero is no palpable contraction.